All right, guys, grab a seat. This is the finished product. Um, a little bronzy, a little glowy, very summery. Um, so yeah, watch this video and you'll see how I got this look using all drugstore products. This is new lighting for me, so I hope it looks okay. I think it looks nice. Oh look, there's a book over there that I haven't read, but. All right guys, thank you so much for coming back and checking out this video. Today, we are going to try to create a bronzy, glowy kind of look. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're like, you are the color of paste. How bronze can you get? And the answer is not very, but we're gonna attempt to go as far as we can. So far, I just have my daytime moisturizer on and some SPF, which is very important. So don't forget that. Um, I'm gonna be going in with my uh, e.l.f. CC Camo Foundation, or sorry, CC Cream. It's awesome, it's fantastic. There are a ton of reviews out there about this product. Um, I did one myself that I'll link up above. Um, yeah, this is really a great product. And I take it in the shade, take it like I'm taking medicine. Um, I have it in the shade Fair 120N. Uh, so one thing that I've been loving doing with this um, recently is I like mixing in some sort of like illuminizer Illuminizer? Illuminator? Yeah, whatever. So either that's gonna be the Max Strobe Cream or there's a Charlotte Tilbury, I think like Magic Flawless Filter, something like that. I don't really know. Both of those work really well with this. However, today, um, because I wanted to deepen this up just a little bit, I'm gonna try using the uh, L'Oreal True Match uh, Lumi Glotion. I've heard awesome things about this. I have tried it before in a more appropriate color to my skin tone. Um, I think the lightest one I've tried before and it's really beautiful. So I went and back and bought this in Deep Glow, which is their darkest shade. So I'm gonna be mixing these two together today. Hopefully we'll have a nice base going on. <laughs> Whenever I mix this CC cream, I just use a half a pump of this. So just like that that much of um, of the lotion, And then you just mix that together and you get this really pretty color. Oh shoot, I probably should have put my hair up before I got this all over myself. I'm gonna put this on with my sponge. Ooh, that's glowy. Ooh, wow. Mm, that's pretty. Yeah, these two products mixed really well together. Um, I mean, I knew it would mix well because I've used the lighter one before, but um, yeah, this dip, deeper shade isn't too, I don't know, overpowering, you know what I mean? All right, I am gonna go in with just a little bit more. I'm gonna go put this around my nose. I just have some redness there that I like to conceal if I can. Yeah, look how like glowy this is. I'm just gonna go over some of the pigmentation on my cheeks, just look at that. But yeah, I'm really happy with the way that this is looking. Hmm. Let's go in with a little concealer. I'm going to use the Instant Age Rewind um, from Maybelline, right? Is this from Maybelline? Oh gosh, yes, Maybelline. Um, I'm using it in the shade 100, which is ivory. I took off that like gross little spongy top because I felt like that just kind of like sits there and collects germs. This is a great drugstore concealer. A ton of people love it, um, including myself. And they have finally did extend their shade range significantly because before it was really limited and now they have both much lighter shades and much deeper shades. So everyone's happy. All right, just gonna go back over that with the sponge, take off some of the excess. All right, next for a little bit of powder, I'm going to use the Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder. I really just wanna go with this in the T-zone because I obviously wanna keep as glowy as a look as possible. All right. So now we're gonna bronze the face up. Um, I'm going to use the L'Oreal Lumi Bronze It. Um, I have this in the lightest shade, 01 Light. So I love this bronzer. I kind of just discovered it. I know it's been out there for a while, but you know, sometimes it takes me a while to catch on to things. Um, 
but this is going to be a beautiful shade for someone who is as pale as me. It's really, really nice. And I like that it's not matte. It has just a little bit of, I don't want to say shimmer because it's not shimmery or glittery. It's just, I don't know. There's just a little bit of reflex in it. And I think it makes it look really nice. This is the um, e.l.f. powder brush. I'm going to knock some of that off. And then lightly just start building it up on the perimeter of my face. And really take your time with this, all right? Because it's always easier to add more. It's much more difficult to take it away when you've gone overboard. <laughs> Is someone mowing the lawn? I'm sorry, that's gonna be annoying. I apologize. Not much I can do about it. I'm gonna put some on the center of my face as well, kind of where I would put a little blush. I'm gonna put it on the bottom of my nose and also across the bridge of my nose. I'm gonna take it down my neck because my body is just as pale as my face. Yeah, there's literally two lawnmowers out there. Cool, 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 cool. All right, um, because I like a nice monochromatic type of look, we're gonna also use this um, Lumi bronzer in the crease um, as eyeshadow. And I pretty much just go all over the lid with this. Now with a thinner brush, I'm gonna take more of that bronzer and just put a little bit on uh, my lower lash line. All right, let's go in and do some brows real quick. Uh, I'm gonna go in with the Milani Weekend Brow. This um, is a new product to me. I I've used it a couple times now. Um, and I think it's really, really nice. I mean, look at how... So many drugstore brands are coming out with these types of products. I think they're all kind of trying to ride on the coattails of um, Anastasia. Um, and I don't blame them. This one works really well. I also did pick up the NYX one because they have something extremely similar um, and also their brow glue. Um, however, I'm waiting to try that out because I want to uh, do like a comparison between that and the, um, the Anastasia Beverly Hill one with their brow freeze product. However, you cannot get a hold of that brow freeze product. Um, it's like sold out everywhere, so. I guess that means it's good. I have this in the shade Soft Brown. This is the lightest shade that they have. I usually go for more of a taupe color because to be honest, this is a little warm toned for me, but I can still make it work. All right, those are looking pretty symmetrical. Now for a brow setter, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Wow Brow. Um, I love this stuff. It's really great, um, and man, you cannot beat the price. It's like $3 for this little guy. Um, I mean, it's tiny, so there's not a ton of product in there. I have it in the shade Taupe, which is really a nice um, color for me, and my skin tone, and my hair, blah, blah, blah. And I don't know if you can see, but there's these little um, microfiber hairs in there. So not only does it set your brows really well, but it also kind of builds them up a bit, makes them look a little fluffier. Yeah, I really like the way that looks. So we're gonna move on to blush. Um, and for the blush today, I'm going to go ahead and use the Milani Luminoso blush. I love using uh, a peach blush when I'm doing a more tan look. <laughs> um, and yeah, I mean, this blush is really, really gorgeous. It's worth the hype. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at that, come on, look. That's so nice. Yeah, this is so, I mean, you definitely don't need a highlighter when you use this blush. And also um, their other big blushes have the same sort of luminosity as well. Um, so if you went ahead and picked up really any of the colors, you'd get this kind of glow from them. Oh my gosh, I think it's so pretty. Um, now that I have all of my face products, oh my gosh, this freaking lawnmower. Stop. You just keep getting closer and closer and closer. 
Okay, now that I have all of my face products on, I'm gonna go back in with my beauty sponge and just kind of use the butt of it and just make sure all of the edges are blended and everyone is getting along with each other on my face. It's like the weather's nice and everyone wants to do their spring cleaning, which, okay, fine, but... All right, I'm happy with the way that is all blended together. Um, let's go in with some mascara. Okay. I'm going to be using, oh, there's like dueling lawnmowers out there. All right, I'm gonna be using the um, Essence Lash Princess. Not gonna lie, this is such a popular mascara and I've never used it before. So um, we're gonna be trying this out together. They have like 8 million different kinds of mascara um, essence. I had no idea they had so many to choose from. So I just went and got the most, I guess, basic one they had, which is also the most reviewed and the most popular. So yeah, let's just see how this one goes. Well, that went on really nice. Let's see what a second coat will do. Wow, well, yeah, I mean, I can see why this is so popular. Lots of volume without being clumpy. Yeah, I'm really happy with this. Let's try the bottom lashes. It sounds like they're literally mowing in my kitchen. Definitely giving me more volume than it is length, but that's okay, because that's what I prefer. I just can't get over this blush. Like guys, this looks so nice. Why did I stop using this? All right, let's get started on some of the lips. Uh, I'm gonna go in with another Milani product. This is their lip liner in the shade Nude. So this is definitely more of a pinky nude color. It actually re reminds me a lot of the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lip liner um, for like a fraction of the price. There we go. I outlined my lips and then I filled in most of the center of them and now I'm just kind of like blending it all in. Now I'm gonna go in with my NYX uh, Cannabis Seed Lip Oil. Yes, this actually contains a very small amount of THC. I was surprised as well. Let me find where it is exactly on the ingredient list. Ah, here it is. It is the last thing to be listed in the ingredients and it says contains less than 0.001% THC. So don't worry, you're still gonna be able to pass a drug test if you use this. This is such a nice hybrid between a gloss and an oil. I feel like it really gives you that glossy look without um, this heavy stickiness. Now I think they're cutting down weeds. Now don't get me wrong, if the wind blows and it blows your hair into your mouth, it's still gonna be kind of a sticky mess, um, but it's not gonna be as sticky as a mess as it would be with just a regular gloss. All right, so I'm pretty much done. Oh my God. All right, so I'm pretty much done, but I just wanted to take a moment and kind of see if I need to add anything to this look. And I do think I want to go in, oh my God. I do think I want to go in with just like a dark brown eyeshadow right um, on my lash line just to darken things up a little bit. I'm gonna use this palette here. It's um, Aurora Roar palette. I got it um, overseas, so I won't be able to link it down below, um, but any dark chocolatey brown eyeshadow will work. Um, and a teeny tiny little brush like this. There we go, nothing major, just kind of wanted to get in there and smoke it out just a little bit. So I like the way that looks. I think it's glowy, it's a little bit bronzy, you know, but not over the top because I can easily start looking orangey or muddy. So we're gonna go in with my uh, Catrice Finishing Spray. It's the Dewy Gloss Fixing Spray and it is amazing, it's amazing. It's amazing, I love it. This spray is everything. That's being dramatic, but it is really good.
All right, so after that finishing spray has dried, I always go in and just put like a scotch more powder on my nose because that's gonna get shiny no matter what. I don't need a finishing spray to like help that along. <laughs> so yeah, there we have it. That's the finished look. Very, very happy with it. Please take this moment to subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. I think I have like 27 people so far. So thank you guys. Um, and I'd love to add some more. I hope you guys have a fantastic week, a fantastic weekend. Go outside, get some fresh air, enjoy this weather. Um, and stay tuned because I have a Stephora VIB sale haul coming up. Hopefully that gets delivered on Friday so I can film it uh, this weekend. Um, all right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.